If you can find a better car, buy it. Lee Iacocca. It's great to see you. Yeah, good to see it's you. It's like Elvis has entered the yeah, building. Right. How important is the guy who runs the company to the company's image? Well, very important. I don't suggest everybody go out and do commercials. We had no alternative. We were going bankrupt. Yeah. And the, union, the uh, agency talked me into it and said, you're a guy who's got to go out there and say, uh, instead of using a celebrity, you got to go back that afternoon and make sure the cars don't leak and rattle. Well, that was former Chrysler CEO Lee Iacocca telling Neil how those commercials actually turned his company's business around. And as Tesla faces more competition in the electric vehicle market, it sounds like CEO Elon Musk is hoping that ads will help him as well. Now, Musk announcing that the company will try advertising for the first time in an effort to charge up their sales. Automotive expert and the car coach, Lauren Fix, joins me now. I, that's, it really is big news. I mean, that was, uh, you know, they just had this yeah. sort of... Uh, uh, yeah, everyone knew electric vehicles. They, uh, I'm surprised we don't call all of them Teslas, to be quite frank with you. That's how ubiquitous they've been. Right. Well, I have to say that Elon Musk really is taking a departure. And it's ironic that he was like, no advertising, no advertising. Word of mouth, he's the Pied Piper, and suddenly he's advertising. But where did his first ad already appear? On Twitter, because he owns it. Nothing like getting a discount on that one, huh? No, that's that's a smart move, but the ownership yeah. of Twitter has also come with some controversy. And and something that Lee Iacocca said a moment ago, that the guy, you know, representing Lee and Neil were talking, the guy who represents the company being, you know, the image of the company is the company. Mm -hmm. uh, I saw a poll this sure. week, some sort of survey where uh, Tesla's lost a lot of its uh, appeal, and at least on the surveys, it still has pretty good market share. Are you seeing any sort of pushback because of the active, active role that uh, Musk has taken with Twitter? Absolutely. There's a lot of Twitter uh, people that people that didn't like Twitter or liked Twitter, but maybe liked Musk. But as soon as he owned Twitter, boy, they just turned on him. So there is a lot of pushback. People are looking at other cars, whether it be a Kia EV6 or a Hyundai Ionic 5 or an Ionic 6 or a Ford Mach-E. And uh, just past Friday, they had Jim Farley was on Elon Musk's Twitter spaces, and they announced that they're going to be sharing charging stations. So again, he has to work with people. He has to start advertising if he wishes to get the face out. His face is the brand. Just like Jim Farley may not believe this, but he's the face of Ford. So whatever they are is what people think of their brand. And if you're loyal to the Tesla brand, you may or may not still be loyal to him because of Tesla or a, because of Twitter. There was a series of price decreases and then I think a price increase. Uh, there was some concern that, uh, if, you know, like deflation. If you think the price is going to go down, why buy one today? Uh, you think that was a mistake? Uh, right. He was caught in a catch-22. So the federal government decided to put that $7,500 tax credit in, but the vehicle had to be produced in the U.S., which not all of them are, and the batteries had to come from the U.S., and if you didn't meet those two qualifiers, or at least the final assembly thereof, you didn't get that tax credit. But the price point had to be lower because they kept changing the rules from the infrastructure law. So here we go. He lowered the prices in order to meet that $7,500 tax credit. Because if you're over $80,000, you don't get the tax credit. And he wanted to still right. continue using that tax credit that he had lost, and he got it back. I got 30 seconds. Um, is, is still Tesla still the company, the name to beat? It feels like they are still... Uh, you know, number one well, by far in this space. Not in China. In China, BYD is starting to take the lead. They've beat them a couple months in a row, and China's really supporting BYD to take over. Here in the U.S., we got some great product from literally every manufacturer, and customers should always do their homework and test drive everything. I'm not a fan of the build quality on Tesla, but there's some great product out there. All right, Lauren, it's always a pleasure to see you. Thank you so much.